Hello guys. I am going to tell you a horror story of murder and revenge. It is the story of the play The Duchess of Malfi written in the 17th century by John Webster. The Duchess of Malfi is a widow. We don't know her name. She has two brothers. One of them is a cardinal and the other is her twin brother Ferdinand. Ferdinand is the duke of Calabria. C A L A B R I A Calabria. Have you heard of that place? There is no such place. <laughs> These two brothers are high born. They are noblemen and they are so protective of their noble status. They don't want to deal with lower class people. And they warn their sister the duchess that she must not remarry. Remember, she is a widow. They also hope to inherit the duchess's land and wealth. The duchess is wealthy. But the duchess is in love. She is a widow and she is in love with her steward. Steward is like a, a manager. His name is Antonio and she has secretly married him. They have also had children. The brothers are suspicious. It looks like the Duchess has cheated them. So they introduce a spy into the household of the Duchess. Now the spy is Basola. Basola is already a murderer at this time. He has already murdered someone and had, has gone to prison. And the cardinal had thrown him out of his service. Bosola is an escaped prisoner and slave. And he is now coming into the duchess's house as a spy. Now, Bosola suspects that the duchess is pregnant. Suspecting that the duchess is pregnant, Bosola wants to find out the truth. So, Basola gives her fresh apricots. Fresh apricots, pregnant women should not eat. In that time, fresh apricots was used to induce labor pain. The Duchess eats these apricots greedily. She loves them. Shortly after this, she goes into labor pain and she delivers a son. So, Basola understands that yes, she was pregnant. She was married. Sometime after this, aware that people are uh, seeking to destroy her family, she becomes aware that there are enemies and she and Antonio decide to uh, separate. The Duchess uh, announces that Antonio has stolen something from her. Everybody is thinking that Antonio is the steward. So she makes it look like Antonio has stolen something from her and she banishes him and Antonio leaves the place with their eldest son. After Antonio leaves, the Duchess and her children are captured. The Duchess is put under house arrest. That means she is not allowed to go out from her house. She is confined to her house. And eventually, she and her children are murdered. Before that, how? By smothering, by, uh, you know, strangling. Basola kills the Duchess. But before that, Ferdinand does not forget to torture the Duchess. He sends her wax figures of her family to make her feel like they are dead bodies of her family members. To... Uh, torture her he does that and the duchess dies very bravely she does not plead for mercy she dies very bravely also after the murder of the duchess Ferdinand and the cardinal decide that they must remove Basola they don't trust Basola anymore because Basola has been shaken by the duchess's courage she does not die like a feeble woman. She dies like a strong woman. 
and the brothers understand that Basola has had a change of heart. Now he is regarding the cardinal and Ferdinand, the brothers, with disgust and loathing. They don't trust Basola anymore because Basola is disgusted, contemptuous of them. Are you following me? He is now on the side of the Duchess and he realizes that uh, Basola realizes that they are in a hurry to get rid of him and now there is a big change in the story Basola becomes the Avenger Basola decides to take revenge that is the big change in the story he kills the man he believes to be the cardinal but actually that was a mistake it was not the cardinal at that time, the cardinal had other troubles. The cardinal had a mistress called Julia. Julia was in love with Bosola, and uh, uh, the cardinal had to kill Julia by making her kiss a poisoned Bible. He bi uh, poisoned the Bible and made her kiss the Bible. And uh, the cardinal got rid of Julia. At this time, Basola misunderstood that some man is the cardinal and killed him. But that was actually Antonio. Antonio, the husband of the duchess, had come back. He does not know that the duchess has died. He has come back. Um, and he was talking. Uh, he had come back with his friend Delio. And Basola was determined to save Antonio. But Basola has to kill Antonio. At that time, Ferdinand and Delio are talking outside the Duchess's, uh, you know, tomb. Before he died, Antonio was talking outside the Duchess's tomb to Delio and voices are heard from the Duchess's tomb. Whatever these two men are talking is being echoed from the Duchess's tomb. It is like a uh, warning to Ferdinand. Did you understand all these things happen? And after all this, Ferdinand, uh, who was the twin brother of the Duchess, goes mad. He goes mad with the kind of madness called lycanthropia. Lycanthropia is the feeling that I have become a wolf. Oh, you uh, howl like a wolf. Did you understand? And uh, Ferdinand is mad with lycanthropia. He slowly descends into total insanity. At this time, Basola succeeds in murdering the cardinal. But at that time, mad Ferdinand kills Basola. So all the villains are dying at the end. Poor Antonio also died. And the other villains are also dying. Cardinal is killed by Basola. Basola is killed by Ferdinand. And Ferdinand has descended into madness. And uh, the madman Ferdinand is killed by Antonio's friends. Duchess is also killed. Actually, this is a very confusing story. Who is taking the revenge here? That is the question. It looks like the brothers are doing wrong to the Duchess. The Duchess should be taking revenge. But the Duchess died in the middle of the story itself. And the Duchess, who is supposed to be the Avenger, is a woman. How can a woman take revenge? You know, Antonio also cannot take revenge because he is also killed. <laughs> Very unusually, the murderer Basolo becomes the Avenger. What kind of revenge tragedy is this? It is a revenge tragedy turned upside down. It is an unconventional revenge tragedy. Full of murder, bloodshed, very disturbing uh, things like madness. And this play actually reflected the unrest in our uh, 17th century Jacobian period. At the time this play was written, there was a lot of political and religious, social unrest uh, in England. That is reflected in this play. The very famous play, The Duchess of Malfi by John Webster. I hope you liked uh, my storytelling. If you liked it, please like the video and I'll be back with more. Thank you.